Salsi Precision Engineering specialised in components for the motorsport and aerospace industries. The company was founded in 1972 and is based in Northamptonshire. About a year ago we were contacted by a supercar manufacturer to look at the manufacture of head train components for a supercar in this country and because of the volumes of the components involved we had to look at um, other methods of actually manufacturing in much higher volumes. Typical volumes in F1, maximum 2,000 a year in supercar manufacturing, we're doing 2,000 components a week. We had an initial problem, we tried to do um, some of the components on our existing equipment and realised that we just hadn't got enough capacity to do the parts. Um, so I made a visit to uh, Germany in um, July of 2011 and to look at alternative machines really to what we were currently using and the stars stood out to, to my mind as being ideal for the size of component we were making and the speed of the machines that we actually could get the volume of components out per week that we needed to achieve. Productivity was very very important but precision because of the engines these parts were going into was also very very critical. Um, we were typically holding less than 10 microns on, on both of the machines and some of the angles that we have to maintain on one of the components it, it are very 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 tightly controlled and we have to check those on CMM machines very very frequently to make sure the machine is achieving them. Pleasantly we were surprised to find that it is. It's doing a good job. Um, the first machine we bought was an SR20 R3. We bought that to do a little tappet shim for a supercar engine. That went very very well. We were contacted initially because they were having problems with their previous supplier actually supplying the volumes uh, we didn't have that issue, issue and we also managed to maintain all the tolerances as well uh, about six months after that they then contacted us to see whether we could do a slightly bigger component so we then uh, looked at another machine an SR32 JN uh, and that's currently now making another component for that uh, engine as well the star machines were initially obviously brought in just to do um, parts for this supercar engine but we are now starting to use them to do F1 components as well the capacity it's obviously so high compared to the machines we're currently using that we can generally clear up most of the supercar work in two to three days a week. So that gives us two days a week we can use for other things. So we're gradually introducing F1 components onto those machines as well. And they're doing as good a job, if not better, than our current machines. And the speed of them is much, much higher. Um, part of the reason I went to Star was um, I'd heard a lot about their reputation for actual support and both the machines that we bought from Star were supplied pretty much as a turnkey solution. They were supplied with programs already run them on, running on them. The job's proven out. Uh, we went up there and inspected the components. So when the machines landed on our shop floor, they were running straight away. Since then, their support has been excellent um, as we've tried to do other components on the machines. Um, and as I say, we're now doing a variety of F1 parts but with their help and uh, you know we are using them for other things and hopefully we'll be buying more of them in the future.